What's up guys, this is Bull by the Fell Handed and I have a somewhat unique a gameplay for you today. It's called Troll Proof. Now, this is kind of how to be troll proof and at the same time uh, to show you just to be aware of the trolls. When this happened, uh, these gentlemen who trolled me were from XUT1. I don't know what that means. That being said, I immediately said, okay, hey, these guys are pushing me. They must recognize me, whatever. And then they just never stopped. A lot of times if somebody recognizes me, they'll give me a bump or they'll shoot me or they'll give me a thumbs up or whatever. And that's as far as it goes. After the game, they'll say, hey, man, I like your videos. Da, da, da. That's awesome. And that's the end of it. Oh, these gentlemen made it a point <laughs> to follow me the entire game. At one point, I tried to push one of them, but you know, he's in an E100, I'm an IS7. Now, focusing on the game here, we're on Erlenberg Assault. We are defending. Now, moving on to the gameplay here, um, I, I'm in an IS7. I had a <laughs> very good friend of mine say, you know what? I've known you for three years. I, this is the second time, counting this time, I've seen you run that tank. I'm not necessarily a huge fan of this tank. I know people can make it really, really good. I generally don't do super well in heavies. I do kind of okay. I get, I don't know, about 3,000 damage with 1,000 spotting. That's okay, I guess. It's, you know, it is what it is. Now, right about here, I, I begin to notice things go a little south for me. And at this point, I become a little stuck. I do decide to switch to APCR for the gentleman up there on top of the hill. The Swedish tank destroyer. You know, because those things, man, the armor on those. Okay, so at this point, I'm being trolled. Uh, there we have Ghost Assassins 2 from the XUT1 and deadheaded 112 from XUT1. I don't know what that is. If anybody can find out, please let me know. So anyway, they're pushing me. This happens for pretty much the rest of the game. Now, the reason this video is called Troll Proof is it turns into an amazing, amazing thing. And I don't necessarily know if I wasn't being trolled if it would happen. Now, let's take a moment to just realize how tough this tank li that lies before me is. I'm trying to shoot it in the lower plate. I hit it right on the bar there. Engaging anti-troll slow-mo. I end up pushing it over, but let's not focus on the fact, or let, let's for let's not forget to focus on the fact how amazing this tank is. It is being pushed over and it is bouncing rounds. I want this <laughs> I want this tank. It is just rolling over and then I blow it up and I'm still being pushed the entire time and guys I know a lot of you've been out there and I know you've been trolled before so this is you know to kind of help everyone you know to kind of roll with it don't take it so much to heart just essentially just figure on how to get out of it as you can see there I tried to pit maneuver the E100 it just didn't happen I put one in the bottom of the TD. I'm still getting pushed by the E75, and I decide to go for a push in the E100. It is just not happening. It's just they're just kind of having their way with me, and there's little to nothing I can do about it. And you know, guys, I know a lot of people say, "Oh, well, you know, this this guy I met in combat, I hate him." Da da da. Just just let it go <laughs> you know what I mean because you're gonna be walking around carrying all this hatred and nobody else is gonna care but you so just just let it go now focusing back on the game I decided to get away from those gents uh, our cap is in trouble which is kind of where I was trying to head 30 45 seconds ago I am going to zoom in here um, and get to the cap the IS7 is a speedy heavy uh, if you can get it flat and give it enough time to accelerate, it can really make the things happen. But you know what? Here, uh, near our cap, I have like a very, very tough last stand. A lot of things were going at me all at once. And, you know, sometimes, guys, you know, you have to do what you can. You can't always, 
you know, get the perfect pick of cover or what have you. Uh, I tried to kind of shift a little bit left and right to kind of uh, give that gentleman an issue hitting me. Tried to fire a shot into the side of the IS-7. It did not happen. I'm going to go ahead and back into cover while my gunner reloads. And, you know, at this point I have a little bit of options. I'm, I'm in cover. I don't necessarily have to make action right away. We're going to push shot in the side of the E5. Very, very good shot right there. I am still running APCR in the confusion. I've kind of forgot to switch up. But at the same time, in this situation where it's you versus a number of enemies, you know what? Fire premium away. Now, I don't have good shots at the E5 here. I decided to go ahead and put one in his cap, and it manages to connect. I am still beset on all sides by enemies. Um, red and green, <laughs> as you can see right there. He's pinning me up. Uh, he is actually sacrificing his life in order to hurt me. Uh, normally, I would say, ah, I don't like that guy, but you know, that's something I can actually get behind. Okay, so, as you can see here, we've still got a great number of bad guys over here. I was going to try to put one in the back of that gent. I just got hit by something I don't know. We removed that gentleman from the board. Uh, one of my friendly aggressors just got taken out. But as you can see, it's still not working out for me. We're still losing considerably more than we're, we're gaining. I sneak out to put a round in that gent, and then I just get taken out. I put a good clutch shot in him, and then just get erased off the board. I might have survived if I just kept my head down, but you know what? You mess with the boy, you get the horn. So that's why I kind of decided just to go out there and see what I could do. Uh, 2999 uh, damage, 1127 assist. Uh, we did a little bit of block damage. We did lose money. We were shooting APCR, but you know what? In that situation, it's totally founded because it really had to happen because we were completely surrounded as well as we had a friendly <laughs> giving us a little grief. But you know what? In the end, it all worked out. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you guys next time.